Yeah, I'd say. They're ready. Wow, look at that. Just perfection, really. Come on, go. Opening day, small game, grouse season. We're here with our buddy Kane. Stefan, and I'll be hunting too. Booyah! Hey, welcome Catching Dinner. I'm Stefan. I'm here with Allison and my buddy Kane. And we're here really elk hunting. The opener's tomorrow on the 2nd of September. Today's the 1st. And guess what? It's grouse opener. And that works out pretty good because we get to uh, practice our shooting and hopefully make a heck of a meal later on. But I, c I could say that actually we're gonna have a heck of a meal. I already got three. I was a little premature with the shotgun <laughs> because we're just driving down the road and we saw a huge covey. I got out and uh, again, I went a little crazy on them. So I got my limit already. <laughs> so here we are, three, uh, you know, they're blue grouse. And it was a big group, so we're gonna keep going. Allison's got the bow, Kane's got the bow, and I'll bring the shotgun. So if Allison wants to take a longer shot or whatever, you know, we'll bring more home. We'll come along. Should be a great day. We're just getting started, literally. We're just driving down to go where we're going to go hunting. And we saw him cross the road. And uh, lo and behold, we've got three chickens. Chickens in the woods. So, uh, hey, it's going to be awesome. We're going to do an awesome recipe. We usually use it for wood duck. So we're going to do a popper recipe. But stay tuned. It's going to be awesome. We've got a secret, secret ingredient. So come along. Let's go shoot some grouse. So we got Kane here. He's ready. <laughs> yeah, well, Allison's going down. That's where they flew after I shot. They all went over there. So let's see if we can get on them. Kane's got it. Yeah, I see it. Good. Yeah, I see it. Got it. Yeah, Kane's gonna take it. Booyah! Awesome. See it? Well, nice one though. Oh yeah, look at that. Nice Beauty. Feature. Nice little chicken. Good job, Kane. Booyah! Let's keep going. Alright, should be good now. Let me. Uh, Oh yeah. Bird down. Bird down. <laughs> Good job, Allie. Ones, watch for the other There's ones. More. There's Real more. Allison, she's got a nice grass. She's so excited. <laughs> she, went, she looks like a bird dog that just got her first bird. <laughs> <laughs> and there she emerges. Got her. Nice one. The area that I like. That's a nice one, Allison. Hey. Beaut. Yeah, look at that. A lot easier with a shotgun, I'll tell you. Wow, that's for sure. But <laughs> with the bow and arrow, but I'm going to try to get one with my bow oh, and yeah. arrow, too. Well, you've gotten them with the bow. Yeah. It's just, when it's up a tree like that, your arrow is going to fling so far if you don't hit it, that it's, it gets expensive with this. Yeah. And you you got two more that you can get. Just got a second one. Look at this guy. This one in my right hand. That's a big one. First. Just got look at this one. thing. I'll yeah. strut it up. Monster. I mean, look at the size difference. Yeah. This thing well, it's kind of beauty. puffing up a little bit right now, but this still one big. This is going to make a phenomenal popper. Oh, yeah. Can't wait to try out our recipe. Huh. Yeah. Grouse hunting is fun. Yeah. I hope you got a two foot strip of bacon to go around that brass. <laughs> awesome. Day one, grouse season. Yeah, can beat it. Woo. It's going to be awesome. I'm excited. Okay. I'm salivating already. Yeah, we had a great morning. Got six birds. Couldn't be happier. And what we're going to do now, I'm going to show you a couple methods. Last year, I showed how to do the uh, wing method. So you basically, you know, for people who've never seen it, you just basically go like so, put your feet on the wings on both sides, and then you pull slowly, 
Now that works best when you're dealing with a bird that's not so cooled down. So, and I've already showed that video, so we're gonna put a link. So if you want to watch it, great method. I love it. But now the birds have cooled down, so I'll show you a couple other easy ways of doing it. Let me show you. So the way you process your bird basically depends how you're gonna cook it. Today we're doing poppers, so really, it's really easy because we just have to breast that out. And you know, it's pretty easy once you do pull on the wings because then you're just exposing all the meat. But really, the other way, which is just basically going at the bottom of the breastplate, you just follow the breastplate right in the middle, get to the bottom, and you can tell it gets pretty soft, like right in here. And if you just do a little incision, just a little incision, you don't want to get in the gut and just going parallel. And then you just pull. I mean, look at that. You got all the meat you want right here. Now, a couple feathers, but super easy. And really, that's what we're after right here. This beautiful meat. And you just carve the meat out like you would for, you know, like turkey and all that. So this is pretty quick, really. So no mess, no fuss. I'm just going to follow the breastplate right here. And then, booyah. Yeah, it's pretty easy. Nothing to it. And uh, you got some beautiful meat. Can't wait to make those poppers. We have a special ingredient, you'll see. And it really makes a difference. Most people don't use it, but I swear by it, so. Now, you gotta find the bone right here, yeah. Don't lose meat. There's a wishbone right there that I'm following. And uh, that's that. And just like that, we're about done with this side that quick. You definitely want to take your time so you don't lose meat. That's it. Just like that. One breast. And we're going to repeat that process. Because really that's what we're after to make our poppers. Is this beautiful breast meat. And that's a good size breast. I mean that's a good size bird. That's the one that Allison shot. So, uh, but yeah. Perfect headshot obviously. No pellets in the meat. Which is, that's what you want, you know. So yeah, you can actually use a shotgun. Just use the 12, uh, 20 gauge. And, you know, really, if you do a good shot, that's what happens. That easy. Pulls right off. Pull a couple feathers off. That's it. Nice meat. Just like that. So, yeah, just to recap, you cut it right at the bottom. And you can really just pull all of it in one swoop like I did. And you're exposing the meat. And then you just cut it right out. How easy is that? That's pretty easy. Now, even though we're going to do a popper recipe, we still keep the legs because those thighs are phenomenal. And I'll show you another way of another trick that somebody just told me. I haven't tried, so I'm pretty excited to try it. So let me show you. So for the thighs, all you have to do, same thing, especially if the bird is warm enough, you just literally just pull the skin right off. I mean, just like that. It's that easy. You expose the meat, and that's that. You know, super easy. You basically pop it this way. That's the hip socket there. So just cut that way. And get easier than that. Yeah, just cut right there and then follow the skin a little bit. That's it. Pulls right off. Alright, there we go. So yeah, that's what you're left with. Beautiful morsel. So yeah, definitely keep your thighs. They're phenomenal. I'm gonna show you a way to remove some of the tendons in just one moment here. So here we are. I've never tried this. People do it with pheasant. A friend of mine just told me, Tony, you know, he told me uh, that it's done with pheasant, so let's try it with grouse. Supposedly, you know, some of those tendons will pull out and will make the meat a little bit more tender. So all you gotta do, you find that lower knuckle, you know, you just basically break it. You can twist it, you know, pop it, however you wanna do it. See, right there, the tendons are shown like that. And then, basically, the thing is you just pull steadily you're gonna pull steadily once I pop it, and then uh, you know you have to have a little, little strength to it. But I might have to cut. Well, there it goes. Oh, well, it worked. Look at that. That's a lot of tendons right here. It's like a little chicken foot. You got a, a bunch of tendons. Look at that. They weren't kidding. Obviously they're smaller on the grouse, but it worked pretty good. And yeah, nothing to it. You can pop one of the bigger tendons, but I just was able to pull them out. So I just loosened it up. Twisted, you know, pop the knuckle, pull the parts steadily, and sure enough, look at that. That's gonna tenderize the thigh meat. And I've never seen it done on the grouse. I mean, I even looked online to see if people were doing it. 
I haven't seen anything, but guess what? It works. So I just got to pull some of the little feathers here, and that meat's going to be a lot more tender without those tendons. So hey, we've got a lot more to do, so we'll see you in a bit. Now I'm going to try it with a cold bird, see if it works. It might just work, pulling on the, uh, on the bird, stepping on the wings. That's the best method. Let's see if it works. It's just a matter of really getting as close to the body as possible with your feet, holding on to the legs, you know, in pretty good fashion. And you basically do a steady pull, pretty easy, but you just got to keep pulling. And voila, it worked. And what it does, it literally exposes the breast meat just like that. All right, I'm just going to go over the ingredients for our recipe. And basically, you already saw the grouse. The breasts that we're going to butterfly, we'll show you the butterflying in a minute. But the other ingredients for these poppers, grouse poppers, is we need some toothpicks, some cream cheese, a block of cream cheese, got some maple bacon here. This is the sliced jalapenos and the secret ingredient that Stefan's been teasing you about is right here. Some ground coffee and you'll see what we're going to do with that momentarily. That's all you need. And of course, the main ingredient, we finished breasting out all the grouse, cleaning them up. We're going to just show you a couple. We're going to yeah. do them all. We're going to make some delicious poppers. Step number one, you want to butterfly that half a brass here. Super easy, really. Nothing to it. So what I'm doing is just basically cutting it in half, but you don't go all the way. You stop just short so you can literally just open it up and we're going to stuff it. So nice sharp knife, little fillet knife works pretty good. Try to make sure that you're kind of consistent with the way you're cutting right down the center. So uh, that's the key because you don't want a piece being uh, much thinner than the other. But yeah, nothing to it. See, I'm just kind of coming right down the middle. And again, try to make sure I don't go all the way. And it's pretty uh, even. Uh, as far as the thickness. So here it is, butterflied, just like that. Next, what we're doing here is just stuffing it. So we're gonna put the cream cheese. So, can't go wrong with cream cheese. You're gonna put some right there in the middle, put a little more to your taste really, but I don't wanna overdo it. Just kinda like this, that'll work. And then, Put some strips of jalapenos. Again, depending on how hot you want it. We like it on the medium side, so we'll put three like that, just like this. And then we're just gonna close it up, just like that. Look at that. Closed up, just like this. The next step, we're gonna wrap it with bacon. Right here, we got our bacon. So, let me get that out. And basically, you just wrap it, so nothing to it again. You just go on wrapping it. A little overlap, you know, can't go wrong. Sometimes, depending on the on the size, you might need two strips, and that's what I need here. Two bacon strips per breast. And uh, wow, it's gonna be phenomenal. This bacon with the the maple, whew, smells great. And you know, if it's a little extra, just cut it off. If you have a little extra bacon like here, it's just, you know, you want to be able to taste the grouse. Look at that, just like this. So now that we've got our little pig in the blanket, look at that, woohoo, it's gonna be nice. It does help if you're worried about the pieces falling off as you're uh, cooking it. You can always put a little toothpick, just to, for the ends, you know, where you're wrapping it, if you're worried about it. Just kind of sticking it in there so it doesn't fall off. Not a bad idea. So those are the two ends right here. So now, the secret ingredient. Most people do poppers just like this. It works out great. But guess what? Add that little dusting of coffee grounds. It really makes a difference. And, you know, for the presentation, if anything. But you don't really taste the coffee. But it just adds that nice little flavor. Just like this. Look at that. Woohoo! That's awesome. And we're gonna repeat the process. That's just one of them. Look at that. That's how we're gonna put in the broiler in just a few minutes. So we're gonna repeat with all these and we'll see you in a little bit. Well, look at this. The almost finished product. 
Look at that. This is going to be awesome. Ran out a little bit of bacon, but still, we got eight brass or eight half brass. It's going to be plenty for the three of us. Now, normally, we're in the wild here. We don't have a broiler. Normally, you just put that in the broiler and it would turn out perfect. We're going to have to grill it. It's going to be good. It's going to be excellent. Not good. It's going to be excellent. But if you're at home and do this, definitely broil it. It's going to be that much better for the coffee ground facing up, obviously. But guess what? It's still going to be awesome. So let's get grilling. So we got our little grill here. Nothing fancy. It'll work though. Just a little, you know, little pan. Can't go wrong with a little pan. Then, I'm just going to lay it there. Right there in the middle. Yeah, it's going to be good. I can already smell it. Yeah. But usually, if you broil it, all this gets nice and crispy. And we're going to have to roll it here because obviously the, the heat's coming from under. We'll have to cook it both ways. But with the broiler, you just don't have to turn it. I mean, it just turns out perfect. Guess what? It's still going to be great. Now, I'm not going to lie. Usually, we do this with ducks, especially our favorite for this is wood duck. It turns out great. It's just the perfect everything. But guess what? I'm sure grouse is going to be awesome. We'll tell you in a bit because we've never actually done it with grouse. But I can't imagine it wouldn't be great. So that's why we're doing it. And we're just in the mood for it, so see you in a bit. I wish you could smell this. Woo! Smells awesome. So we're gonna flip them. Look at that. My goodness. That's not heavenly. And the smell, because of that bacon, it's got a, it's maple cured, it's just phenomenal. So usually we only put the uh, coffee ground on one side but guess what we're gonna put a little bit look at that that's not amazing looking just a little bit the magical ingredient and that's gonna keep it all on there boy do those smell phenomenal yeah. man they smell good and uh I'm sure they're going to taste great. They're ready. So uh, let's dig in. Kane is our official tester. Let me give him a couple of these bad boys. I mean, they all kind of look pretty, but I'm sure it tastes great. Perfect. See what he thinks. You yeah. know, he's never had it with that secret ingredient. That see what he thinks. That's an honest opinion. We're a little biased because we love it, but let's see what Kane thinks. Oh, yeah. Molten lava. Look at that. Get some of that. Oh, it's hot. Be careful. Oh, hell yeah. <laughs> hell yeah. Well, right off the, the stove, yeah, I could see the bacon. Yep. That grease can be a little hot. No, it came out really the, good. Look at that. Came oh, out great. We got a hell yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the coffee is awesome. Isn't it? It yeah. just adds that extra yeah, a little bit of a crunch flavor. Up. Yeah, look at that. Oh, wow. Yeah, and it doesn't taste like coffee grounds. Like, yeah. have you ever eaten coffee grounds before? Totally it's terrible. Different. But. Yeah, totally different. Once they're grilled like that, or, you know, I guess... This replaces the afternoon coffee, too, I guess. <laughs> yeah, it came out great. Good work, stuff on. Awesome. Hey, good work, everyone. We all work pretty hard. Mm -hmm. Now, we're, we're going to taste it because, yeah, you're making us hungry just looking at you. Uh, I'm going to have chop. the first one gone, so... Yeah, look at that. Look out. And then the jalapeno is not as hot, right? Once it's no. cooked like that, it's and just I perfect. I can't handle spicy food at all, but so, this is actually really good. There you go. You, there you have it. Meal a champion, especially mm -hmm. after a great morning of hunting. I think yep. we have a happy camper. Happy camper. All right, I finally got to the middle where there's some cream cheese and jalapeno and bacon. Mmm. If that is not bursting with flavor, I don't know what it is. Now, what do you think compared to wood duck? Because we've done it the same with wood duck. Mm -hmm. Do you think this is the better, same, just different? I mean, it's delicious. It's not better or worse. The duck has a, a little different flavor than grouse. Grouse is more mild. Yeah. Tastes more like chicken. Yeah. The wood duck obviously has that duck flavor yeah. to it. And I mean, the duck flavor is great for this recipe, but stuff anything with cream cheese and jalapeno <laughs> and wrap it in bacon. Yeah, right. And it's going to be delicious. The grouse. It's phenomenal. It's nice and juicy okay. and tender. Good. And, you know, Didn't someone would think that they were eating chicken. So right. So if you think chicken would be good with some cream cheese, 
jalapeno stuffing and this coffee ground on top. To me, it just is the icing on the cake. It adds the perfect flavor. I love it. We forgot to do it once and it was definitely missing something. So try that coffee ground on top. Definitely. This is phenomenal. Now, we don't usually eat this good at camp. I'm not going to lie. This is definitely a treat. But we need all the energy we can get right now. Tomorrow is the elk opener. Allison's got a deer tag too. And I have a bear tag. So hopefully, we'll put some more meat on that grill. That's the plan at least. So stay tuned. Thank you so much for coming along on this little morning adventure. We had a great time. Got out. Shot some beautiful birds. Are eating well. Everything's grand. Hope you can get outdoors. Chew some grouse. Try it this way. I promise you, you're going to love it. So, you guys take care. Until next time. Ah!